Today, I'm presenting ISMB ECCB poster 1374 titled A Computational Framework for Discovering Noble Targetable Pathways by Integrating Functional and multi omics Data from Primary Model Systems. I'm Pisano Bupamalai, a Computational Research Scientist at Accenture. multi omics offers an integrated and multi-level perspective to navigate disease biology with various data modalities. Combining this with patient-derived single-cell functional endpoints from our physician medicine platform, we introduce functionally directed multiomics, or FDMO, which together offers a unique parallel dataset and methodological framework for multiomics analysis and interpretation. This enables a more comprehensive understanding of molecular changes to disease at baseline and upon perturbation. In this work, we aim to recapitulate disease biology for novel target discovery using FDMO from high-grade serous ovarian cancer primary patient samples. Figure 1a highlights the component of FDMO using artwork with primary samples from solid tumor patients, a disease-relevant complex primary model system. We tested the ex vivo cytotoxic effect of more than 80 small molecule drugs against 20 primary samples and captured single-cell functional response data using our deep learning-driven image analysis pipeline. Using drugs as tools, as seen in Figure 1b and 1c, we systematically perturbed the interactome to identify groups of targets which showed broad sensitivity across the ovarian cancer patient cohort. We then developed a graph-based discriminant discovery algorithm that proposes novel targets guided by topological hotspots unique to sensitive pathways while actively selecting against targets associated with insensitive pathways. Our approach allows discovery of putative first-in-class targets while avoiding community biases inherent in most biological knowledge graphs. Importantly, our models allow for direct evaluation of putative target activity in a clinically relevant system. Figure 2 shows how network mapping of response profiles from primary patient models can review overlooked target hotspots. Drug responses obtained from our primary sample phenotypic screen, figure 2a, are compared to cell line sensitivity data, figure 2b, and show that sensitive pathways found using our platform may have been missed by using our cell line models. Our primary model system captured sensitivities to specific tyrosine kinase inhibitors not observed in cell lines or previously published data. To understand the molecular underpinnings of drug sensitivity in terms of their targets, we built the target landscape based on the interactome using a graph embedding algorithm shown in panel C. Mapping sensitivity profiles of each drug to its protein targets, panel D, reveals the target hotspot, which is the topological neighborhood where targets of drug with high sensitivities are significantly localized. This confirmed our hypothesis that our primary derived functional sensitivity data can be utilized for novel target identification. Figure 3 demonstrates how we pinpoint novel targets while explicitly accounting for polypharmacology. Figure 3a shows unique polypharmacological fingerprints for a subset of drugs used in this study, which were used as initial seeds to propagate the functional sensitivities of drugs onto the interactome. We prioritized commonly shared downstream targets of compounds with high sensitivity across the patient cohort. Figure 3b, mounted to inner circle, displays cohort-wide sensitive drugs, their corresponding primary targets, and predicted downstream targets respectively. Despite the associations with various biological processes of drugs within the panel, we observed a strong enrichment of the PI3K, AKG, and TOR pathway among convergent putative targets. Moreover, using PubMed count as proxy, we observed no correlation between the target ranks and their popularity as seen in Figure 3c. This confirmed that our methodology is not biased towards network hubs or more study proteins, which therefore indicates their first-in-class potential. To experimentally validate our findings and to dissect the mechanisms of action for certain subclasses of drugs that show strong sensitivity, such as serotinib, we designed a focused drug library which includes inhibitors of ALK, members of JAXA3 pathway, and V1. We then performed single-cell transcriptomics at baseline and after perturbation with each drug. Figure 4 A and B review differential expression analysis between treated and untreated samples. We found that TNFY at the NF kappa B pathway were significantly enriched and genes in this pathway were upregulated after drug treatment, highlighted in panel B. At the same time, we observed a cluster of PI3K, AKT, and TOR pathway genes downregulated upon treatment, many of which were predicted within our FDMO framework. 
This results confirmed that the downregulation of the pathway members is crucial for the observed sensitivity of tyrosine kinase inhibitors. Following up on our FDMO results enables us to elucidate how known targets and pathways interact in order to review novel disease biology to develop next-generation therapeutics. The full pathway guide can be found in Figure 4C. In short, NF-kappa-B induced by TNF has dual functions as either an inhibitor or activator of apoptosis using TREL. Here, TREL and CRL were among the upregulated genes following treatment, which therefore points toward TNF-induced cell death. Previously, therapies targeting trial were hindered by the advancement of resistance through a myriad of mechanisms in tumor cells, including the PI3K AKG mTOR pathway. Our MDMO framework can point to the pathway as a novel anti cancer node, shifting the balance of NF kappa B dual function towards trial induced apoptosis. The work demonstrates our unique capabilities in discovering novel targets through our functionally directed multi armics framework. Our findings are driven by disease-relevant models combined with multiomics data, which are unified by our graph-based target identification engine. This work is being extended to other high and med-need indications and is a part of Accenture's patient-centric and end-to-end -end identification and validation pipelines, with applications ranging from target discoveries to drug repurposing. Thank you for listening. For any questions, please contact me at the email address shown.